going. Let's let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the units tab. And we have right now we have uh, 15 roach, 12 mutal, and good 44 zerglings out for mystic. We have two saw, real two colossi, you know, good 10 stalkers, two immortals, and 16 zealots for our good man Vinny. Right. It's no. It's interesting. I really want to give it to Vinny. I do too, but it's interesting. Why did Mystic go Mutus over Infestors? I honestly couldn't tell. Is it personal preference? Idra, players like Idra, love Mutas. We'll pick Mutas almost any day of the week over Infestors. Players like Destiny will pick Infestors every day of the week over Mutas. Is it personal preference? Is it? Is it? Does he see something that we don't? I see... A decent amount of air hitting units. I mean, there's a bunch of stalkers in that mix, and there's a good amount of sentries who can all shoot upwards. So I don't know if Mutus was the best call uh, to deal with these colossi, but we're about to find out. Wow! Great force fields are gonna tear apart almost every zergling. Well, about half. I lied. He still has a ton. But about half of those zerglings. I don't. Did you see that on the top uh, top left at that? Uh, Absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Such a great force. Field. That's what you get for making those early centuries. Not worrying about gas. Still, still sticking to the strategy of making a fast colossus, but going with those early centuries so they can what, guys? What do I always preach about? Force field. Force field. Force field. Build that energy so you can force field. God, I love micro. Micro. So you can hallucinate. <laughs> so you can hallucinate. Absolutely. Oh, God. Mutas are in the base, though. Stalkers blink upwards, it looks like. Or, oh, no, they just kind of crawl up there. It looked like they blink. They they blinked, but... Oh, they did blink. They kind of failed, though. Yeah, it wasn't the best <laughs> blink. We'll call it a blunk. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely blunk upwards. And they're going to chase those mutas away, but not after a decent amount of uh, probe kills. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Zerglings and Roaches just took out Vinny's third expansion. Right, that's huge, because after that huge Ling loss, he knew he had to do something. And it's it's more difficult for a Zerg to do a drop play, because it's, uh, you know, not as realistic to do a yeah. do Doom drop over on a Protoss or anything like that. So he knew he had to go for something, and that's exactly what he did. He went and took out an expansion. Uh, here come, wow. I don't, I don't, I don't like running those those stalkers or running those mutas into the stalkers like that. But uh, gonna back away, I think, for right now. This is just a huge, huge army. Both of these players not wanting to fully commit at this point. Uh, it, it's tough. It's really tough to say who's got the edge. These are two evenly matched armies. It's gonna come down to some good micro. That's for that's for sure. Is he going to walk these stone? No, I thought he was going to blink up and then move the Colossi up up the ramp and, and check for uh, check for bases and things, but not quite. Is that the Nexus that he took out? I missed that earlier. Yes. yes I he's rebuilding. So. Okay, he's re re rebuilding the Nexus that was taken out. These meters are just dominating these pro all of these probes, right, though. Right, right, right. Vinny just unfortunately yeah. doesn't know what to do. The Protoss units are just... They're not very fast. I mean, even with Blink, th that's great and everything, but when he thought about attacking himself, Vinny thought about attacking himself, so he needed the Stalkers, pulled the Stalkers, and uh, using the sheer speed of the Mutas, just flew on in. This is going down again. Yeah, I see it. Should probably cancel. No. Ugh, did he not get a cancel? Wow. No. And is this... I... You don't want to engage right there. Not with those Colossus shooting down or anything like that. No way, Jose. But, uh... Cool. We do see that Colossus. offensive observer looking around for creep tumors. What, where you go ahead? Oh, this is Colossus getting surrounded, but he just steps over the Zerglings. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta step on those Zerglings. They're not all that scary. Once you put your Tims on and just decide to go Zerg squishing. But here comes a, a little bit of an engagement, killing off these creep tumors. Gonna run into a symmetric ass ton of spine crawlers, though. Wow, that's a lot of spine crawlers. Yeah, I don't see, uh, I don't see Vinny coming down on top of this. I, at I don't all. think so either. Probes are getting kind of yanked. 
He's he, he basically just abandoned all hope in his base right. and decided to just go like just you know just to go all in. And the problem is, is he's got so much to chew through before he even does anything even remotely, like, damaging. Right, to, uh, and the thing is, these spine crawlers are not not getting bowled over that easily themselves. They're taking a lot of stuff down with them. The oh, zealot yeah. count is so low, and, and you need zealots in that army. Maybe, maybe they don't do a whole lot of DPS, but you need those zealots to, to be the meat shield and take all the damage for you. And you see him taking the gas right there. I'll tell you exactly what that's for. He doesn't want to lose that that gas once you know if it comes down to that, it's going to be his last building. Yep, that that is going to be his last building. Is that that gas that he just took? Really smart play out of Vinny. Unfortunately, it's not going to win him this game, but so smart taking that extra gas there. So very smart. This is this is where we decide who wins. The engage? No, no engagement. Thirty-six I'm sorry. mutas, by the way. Just want right. to point that out there. That is He's a mutable and a half. Going. He's got to go in and just kill him. Here it is. Uh, this is going to be the last last surround here for our Protoss player. Yeah. GG. Good luck in the tournament. Says Vinny. Uh, so much fun to watch. Uh, big, big, big shout out. Big round of applause for Vinny. Um, for playing random, for just being an all-around champ, we got to see him in every single race. Zerg, Protoss, Terran. We got to see all three of his uh, his races play, and so much fun to watch. Congrats to him. Don't stop playing random, buddy. You are awesome. Mystic, congrats to you um, for sheer superiority in your own race, my friend. Great Zerg. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. That's it. I mean, just a, a well-played game by by Mystic. Both 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 games, uh, I would have to say, were pretty convincing. I mean, there was there was no doubt in my mind um, that that he was ever going to come out on that one. But uh, any last words, guys? Uh, no, that that's that's pretty much it. Um, good good job to Mystic for showing some superior Zerg skill. Um, Benny, great try. Keep doing that random. You're showing that. Uh, he showed he showed promising play in all three races. I was very impressed. I agree. Yes, me definitely. Me. Definitely. All right, that's gonna do us for uh, that little best of three series. Congrats to P S W's Mystic. That is gonna be it for us this time. Please tune in to give them our give them everything. Give them our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Let's see. All right, our YouTube YouTube. Go to youtube.com slash game talk live S C or G yes, Game Talk Live S C. Sorry. Um, go to twitch.tv slash game talk live or you can check us out on Twitter at uh, it's at symbol GTL underscore gaming. There we go. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Ice Tiggles My BR. We are Game Talk Live. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Catch you next time.